All right, so let's start building a Facebook login button into our own app. At the end of the day, the app will look something like this. When we click on the button, we are given the login dialog. When we continue, we get our own regarding information from our own Facebook profile page. So how do we do it? To start, we need to go to developers.facebook.com and we, and we sign up and create our own first app. In this case, we are given an app ID that Facebook uses to authenticate our own our app. Then let's go to view all docs. There's a whole section called Facebook login that's dedicated to help us to help uh, developers to implement their own login. And this is the main page. Basically, there are some there are three different functionalities we need to implement in our Facebook app. First is Facebook SDK for JavaScript. It enables us to use Facebook login, and this is basic setup. In here, it's in the script in our React app. We need to put it in component did amount, and also we need to call window.fb.init in our React app. And second, we need Facebook login dialog, which is called fb.login. It takes in a callback function and a scope to which access that the app asks for. And third, when we, we use fb.api to make API calls, as you see, the response, string, stringified response is like this. So let's start building it. As you see, in our component did amount, we have this SDK basic setup, and we replace app ID with our own app ID. And we need to call window.fb.init, since this is a React app. And second, this is our Facebook login dialog. It takes in a, a callback function as response, and also the scope. These two, email and public profile, are the only two permissions apps can ask without submitting for review by Facebook. Others, the app, we need to ask for permissions. And in here, login status is also a functionality from Facebook SDK, but we don't need that for now because our Facebook login dialog automatically implements that this function. And uh, status change callback is the callback function that we talked about. Basically, it, it takes in a response as a parameter and evaluates the status of the response. If it's connected, we make an API call. If it's not, we log in some information to the console for now. And finally, this is our API call. As, as before, we need to call window.fb.api in our React app. And this, it takes in the callback function. And in this case, we set a state. Finally, and in our return, if you have the state, we render the user page. If you don't have, the, if your state is null is, or is false, we render the button. So this is basically our own Facebook setup. And uh, as you see, since I just logged in, in our apps and websites, we have already granted access to Shen's first app. So in here, when we click again, we are directly logged in. And what if you log out? In here, if you log out and we click on the button, we ask you log. We ask you log in again. And when we log in, we get the information from Facebook. So this is how we create a Facebook login button in our own app. Thank you.